What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Raven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we got ourselves to, uh, well, we stayed in Hammerlock. We just took a huge, huge tour of this whole place because, you know what, why not? And, uh, well, we got a brief glimpse of the whole Gala region's history, like the beginning side of the whole thing. And now, it is time for us to move on to Route 6. Now, in our last episode 2, I did switch out three Pokemon on my team, and I did say that in this episode I will reveal the nicknames of the three new Pokemon. Took me a... well, it was actually quick for me to actually think of some nicknames right here. Actually, didn't really need, didn't really take me a long time. It just, uh, well, for Hatina it was a little hard for me because I was like, what? What could I nickname this Pokemon right here? So, as you can see, we got three new Pokemon, Hatina, Toxel, and Farfetch. Now, I did nickname Hatina Dumbledore. I was going to name it Albus, but it is a female, so kind of need to go with Dumbledore. It can go both ways, you know, and all that stuff. I was going to name it the, well, I, I was thinking, okay, so what was the Sorting Hat's name? Yeah, it didn't have a name. It's just the Sorting Hat. So, I went with the next best thing, the next person who had a, a hat just like this. Dumbledore, so that's a fitting name right there since, you know, Wizardry, England, all that stuff, uh, Harry Potter and all that crud. And then the next Pokemon right here, Toxel, I did nickname him Blitzkrieg. Now, yes, I get it, Blitzkrieg in German means, you know, quick, quick attack and all that stuff. And there's nothing quick about this Pokemon, but hear me out. This Pokemon does evolve into a Pokemon that is punk theme. And what punk band that I know of reminds me of punk? Well, of course, the Ramones. I would have called them Ramon, the Ramon or something like that, but that really, like, it really didn't stick with me or anything like that. So, since it does have, like, a little lightning right there on its forehead, I might as well name it after one of its famous songs, Blitzkrieg Bop. So here it is. Welcome, Blitzkrieg. Now, the next Pokemon right here is Farfetch, Galarian Farfetch. What could have been a good nickname for this Pokemon? Well, it does look like a duck. It's a female. I was watching Dexter's Laboratory a, a few minutes ago, and the one po the one the one name that actually stuck out was Quackor the Fowl, and uh, it was a female in the in the show, Quackor the Fowl. So, yes, we bequeath you the name of Quackor because uh, you kick ass. So there it is, guys. We got three new Pokemon right here, and we're ready to go. We're still gonna evolve them all. Especially the other Pokemon that I have on the on uh, in my PC. Now I can I can switch these Pokemon out anytime I want to thanks to the Pokemon box. Uh, yeah, it's it's gonna be fun, guys. So here we are going straight to Route Six. We're gonna have lots of fun here, guys. Lots and lots and lots of fun. So look at that. We're so we're leaving. Yes, we're leaving in Hammerlock, and the next place is going to be fantastic because there's a lot of dirt, a lot of Pokemon, a lot of new Pokemon too. So here we are in Route Six. Making our way. It's looking a little dusty and everything, but do not go too quickly. No. Items right there on the floor. Just gonna have to wait for it to sparkle. And well, would you look at that? There's a Pokemon right there. Caracol? Or no, no, that's another Pokemon right there. All right, so team uh, team Yell is right here, and they're trying to bully this Pokemon right here. It's called a Silly Cobra. This Pokemon right here is a little bit of a cute Pokemon. But it's still a snake Pokemon. Grunte is like, what a cute silly cobra. Just look at those adorable eyes. It's our duty as Team Yell to make sure Silly Cobra gets a nice our duty as Team Yell to make sure Silly Cobra gets a nice peaceful sleep. Yeah, but you guys are loud. AF. Hello there. If I promise not to wake this uh, the Pokemon, will you let me go through? Of course. It'd be all uh, it'd be our pleasure. Wow, he was nice. The hell? What kind of a criminal gang are you guys? Oh, oh, come on. Come on, why why, why can't you just leave? Ugh, never mind. Oh, hey, Draven. You're heading to Stow Inside too? Yes, I am. Oi, Team Meow, don't suppose you let us through? Nah, you kids are way too loud. Can't be letting you through. And we're probably not fond of kids wearing a challenge band. With all your stomping around, Silly Cobra is sure to wake up. Right. What do you say, Draven? If you don't get past them, we won't be able to continue our gym challenge to Stow Inside. Yeah, let me think. 
I don't think I don't figure thinking of uh, at them is going to change much about the situation. What else are you got? What else you got? Well, I gotta prepare because uh, yeah, I always go head first into this whole thing. And Optimus is looking like it's gonna evolve right here. So let's go right back into it. Okay, let's go ahead. Daddy's got to do the whole job right here. You two are t way too noisy. You don't want to wake up Silicobra, Cobra don't, now, don't you? I swear, Keith, these days. We, well, we've got no choice. We have to send you packing. It's all for the sake of the Silly Cobra. So here it is, guys. We're starting up our battle. We're going to be going up against a Team Yell Grunt. And, well, he's going to be coming out with his Stunky. So I kind of made the, 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 the uh, mistake right there. It's okay. I kind of need to evolve this Pokemon right here right now. Should have been the first one to evolve to its full form, but no, no, no. I kind of got a little too uh, focused on my Krakatoa right there because it, it's a pretty good Pokemon, especially uh, especially Le or Donatello, Leonardo, uh, one of those Pokemon right there. Can't remember their name. So here we go, another double hit attack, and uh, here comes a faint. What the hell are you doing, man? All right, here we go. Double hit for the win, and here comes an aftermath. We get hurt pretty badly right there. But look at that, guys. We make this Pokemon faint. We get experience points. Everybody gets experience points. And as you can see, Blitzkrieg is growing levels like crazy because it's at level 1. Look at that. <laughs> Already at level 10. Okay, all righty. He's about to use a Lay Noon. So let's go ahead and use one of our newest Pokemon, Quackor the Fowl, right here. Okay, so let's switch out. And, uh, well, let's go with Quack or the Fowl. Since it is a fighting type Pokemon, it's just going, come on, bring it on. Alrighty, Linoon. Or Linoon, or however you like to say it. Let's go with the Rock Smash. And luckily for us, our Pokemon has some pretty good attack right here. It's just its speed. Its speed is its thing. But here we have Rock Smash. Eat that with the big old stick right there. So, oh yes. We're gonna. <laughs> Yeah, we're ready to kick some ass right here. And, of course, Linoon is actually trying to, you know, uh, increase its attack and its accuracy. But it won't work. It won't work because, yes, we got a big-ass stick right here. And let's go ahead and use another Rock Smash. And here comes this Night Slash right here. And, uh, wow, that was actually a, a, a very strong attack right there. But guess what? Rock Smash does its thing. Say goodbye to Linoon. Yeah, buddy. All righty. First battle won for... And, uh, well, we're going to keep on increasing levels right there. Blitzkrieg grows to four more levels. And, well, look at that. Okay, alrighty. So we defeated our Team Yell Grunt rival. And he's like, blame me. Even your battles are too noisy. Not really. No, no, not really. Okay, so that is uh, us winning. And, well, Pop is like, I think I'll leave this to you, Draven. Keep up the pace. <laughs> he got beat again. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is like the best thing ever. Oh, trust me guys. I know that it's a little too much with the hate on uh, on Hop, but seriously. Oh my god. He has been a little too cocky for his own good. And you know what? It's probably a good thing that this is happening to him right now because you know, just because you're just because your brother just because your brother is a is the is the champion doesn't necessarily mean that his skills are your skills you're a little too cocky for your own good homeboy so guess what you're taken down a notch by two people that you could have just beaten them you know easily but of course as you can see i'm getting my butt kicked right now because yes uh, we're getting our yeah oh crud okay here we go razor leaf don't know where i was going with that but still we beat you what now and look at this more experience force for all our pokemon blitzkrieg more experience and there goes Team Yell Grunt, and she is not happy. She's like, ugh, why'd you have uh, to do such a b b bother? I don't even know what you just said right there. So let's just get the heck out of here. Alrighty, so we defeated both these people, and they're like, Silly Cobra might wake up after all this ruckus. Then there's no point in us sticking around. Let's get out of here. We'll make these bothersome kids holler some other day. Later. <laughs> okay, so Hop is like... Traven, you and Thwacky were brilliantly, brilliant together. He's thinking, he's thinking. See, Beat really wiped the floor with me the last time we battled. I know. I wish I could have. I wish I could have seen that. Oh my lord! 
Oh my lord. <laughs> I wish I could have seen that. Oh, it would have been so hilarious. Annie, let's see. And don't get me wrong, I, I could take a loss. Bailing means Bailey means you've got not, uh, you got to lose sometimes. I beg to differ, homeboy. I beg to differ because I actually, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I haven't lost since, you know, the whole Gary thing. And, yeah, can't take a loss. Anywho, he's thinking, he's thinking, he's feeling like whatever. But he said that I was dragging. Let's see, Lee, or, well, hold on, let me, let me, let me rephrase this again. Let me rephrase this again. But he said that I was dragging Lee's good name through the mud, being so rubbish like I was. Uh, yeah, he has a point, man. You were... <laughs> yeah, his legacy is his, his legacy, not yours. And I just can't get those words out of my head. Yeah, don't let those words get out of your head, man. Let that, th that, let that be your motivator. If I'm weak, then people think Lee's weak, too. No. No, that is the complete opposite of what he was saying. But I don't want that. I can't. I can't let Lee's, uh, Lee get dragged down. He's in. A, he's the unbeatable champion. I'm gonna have to take some time figuring this out. See you around, Draven. Flipping you off, buddy. <laughs> you know. I'm again. I'm still happy that he lost because he needed that. He really did. And well, this silly cobra is just looking at us and going away. I think he actually appreciated the fact that we beat those guys. Cause yeah, whatever. Anywho, we're getting. Hollered at by somebody right here. You're one of the gym challengers endorsed by Leon, aren't you? Whoa. Who is you? My name is Opal. If you want to know me, or if you want to know more, have a look at my league card. Well, look at that. We got ourselves a league card. And I'll keep an eye on you, child. I want to see what you can do when you go all out. Okay. Alrighty. Look at her walk. Look, look. That's a big foo foo kind of coat right there. Holy crud. Okay. Alrighty. So, that was that. Let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the lead cards that we just recently got because, uh, yeah. Alright, so, let's see. Uh, album. So, we got two lead cards. And, yeah, wow. It has been a while since we got lead cards. Like, almost a month. Trust me, guys. I've been very, very busy. But, hey, I'm back. I'm back, baby. So the first one right here, Ryan, oh, Ryan. we got his uh, lead card on the 16th, and as you can see right here, Ryan is commonly regarded as the most skilled gym leader in the Gallard region. He has striven for victory in every environment, and as a result, he has adopted a battle style where he utilizes weather effects to their fullest. It is rumored that he could easily become another region's, or another region's champion, so he should choose to move. But it seems that Ryan defeating Ryan or defeating Leon is much more important. If his uploaded selfies are quite popular, or his uploaded selfies are quite popular, occasionally he'll post a photo that only shows a sandstorm. You don't say. They have a Pokemon Facebook right here or Instagram. I don't even know. All right, so here we have Opal, and of course she is another gym leader right here. Opal is the oldest gym leader in the Gala region. She took over for her mother 70 years ago and has kept the position since. However, she feels that her, uh, her own values have reached their limits. And thus, she is currently looking for a worthy successor. She claims that she gives deliberately tricky quizzes because people reveal their true colors when in a pinch, but many speculate that in reality, she does it, it all out of pure spite. Yeah, we're going to have to see about that. I really don't know, but we're really going to have to see about that. And look at that Super Saiyan Draven right here, looking like a beast. Mm hmm. Beasting it up and everything. All right, so let's go ahead and move on right here. Uh, let's see. We got Pokemon that you can actually find right here, like, you know, Silly Cobra, but we're going to be finding some more Pokemon trainers. That is important right there. Let's go ahead and switch out. Now, we got Dumbledore. Let's go ahead and test him, uh, test her out, I should say. Bring it, homegirl. Look at her. She is looking lovely. My super cute Pokemon is interested in your Pokemon. Really? Alrighty. So, here we go. Challenged by Beauty Anita. And, well, here she's coming out with a Clefairy. So, I kind of screwed the pooch right there just a little bit. Just, just a tad bit. And, uh, well, let's see. What can I do? What can I do? Let's see. Hmm. Level 29. Screw it. Let's go, Psybeam. Head first. Everything. 
And let's go right ahead and just uh, hit it right there. And, uh, well, didn't really take that much right there. And... Alrighty, so there we go. Home claws. And <laughs> he likes to use it. Uh, whatchamacallit, a uh, metronome right there. It's pretty hilarious. So, let's go with the... Uh, Another side beam. Hopefully that will actually get us a little bit more. Hopefully, I don't know. Again, it's kind of like we're starting all over again with these Pokemon that we just included in our in our team. So it will be a it will be a while before they're up to uh, up to par and everything. And uh, as you can see, got a critical hit right there. So damn, Re I'm just not risking it right here. So let's go ahead and switch it out. Let's go to our strongest Pokemon right here, Krakatoa. We haven't tested this guy out, so let's go ahead and do that. Look at this guy. He's looking like a beast. Nine feet tall. And here comes a metronome again. And freeze dry will not do anything to us. Yeah, not so effective. We are fire. So let's go with an incinerate attack right here. Yeah, buddy. And uh, say goodbye to Clefairy. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. And more experience points. Of course, Optimus grows to level 35. One more level away from evolving to its final form. And here comes a Clefable. So let's go ahead and, uh, well, we can't use Drago. We could use Blitzkrieg since it is a poison type Pokemon, but yes, not strong enough. So let's continue on right here with our good old buddy Krakatoa. And you know what? Let's try this tar shot. I've been meaning to see what this tar shot's all about. Of course, we're slow as hell. And, well, here comes a hex attack. And that doesn't really do much. But here comes tar shot. And, ooh, ooh. Look at this. Its speed has fallen and now it has become weaker to fire. So, <laughs> you know what that means? Flame charge. For the win. Oh, yes. I'm going to love Tar Shot. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and look at that. Quackor. Everybody gains levels. This is awesome. And Krakatoa wants to learn Stealth Rock. Nope. Kind of made it forget it for Tar Shot. And wow. Everybody's great. Oh, my God. This is awesome. Quackor as well. Look at that. Okay. So Beauty Anita has been defeated. She is not happy about that. But guess what? We get more money for it. Okay. Never mind. So there it is, guys. Optimus Prime is finally evolving. That way I can finally breed it and, you know, get everything. You know, every starting Pokemon. So say hello to Rillaboom. Look at this Pokemon. Rillaboom. Kind of makes me want to change its nickname or something like that, but no. Kind of looks like Optimus Prime Super Saiyan 3 form. Look at that. So here it is, Rillaboom, the drummer Pokemon. It is grass type, 6 foot 11, pretty damn tall, 198 pounds, pure muscle right there. By drumming, it taps it into the power of the special tree stump. The roots of the stump follow its direction in battle. Huh, it's pretty cool. Now, obviously it's going to learn a new move, drum beating. Let's see what this drum beating do or does, if I, if I said that correctly. So here it is, drum beating. The user plays its drum, controlling the drum's roots to attack the target. This also lowers the speed stat of the target. So, let's see. Yeah, I think we've already had enough of branch pokes, so let's go ahead and switch it out for that. Alrighty, okay. Now, I do remember the uh, what, what, score bunny. I think that's what it was called. It's final evolution. It learns a move where it looks like it's kicking a soccer ball made out of fire. That's pretty awesome right there. And I see, oh my god, I see an Axu, which I've already caught. And I am going to move away because I've already caught an Axu. And yeah, you're going to be finding some pretty interesting Pokemon right here, like Doug, like Doug Trio and everybody else. Don't need to do that, but when you're in this area right here, guys, you're actually going to be finding some cool items right now. So look at this, we're grabbing that. We found ourselves three Ultra Balls, which is pretty good. And those are the first three Ultra Balls that we've gotten, I guess. And, oh, crud. Yes, we're going to be, yeah, we're going to be facing some Pokemon right here. And as you can see, we found ourselves a Duskull. Which, you know what? We're going to run away because uh, we don't need it. We actually caught one of these guys. I think we did. Yeah, we did. All right, so look at that. There's some interesting Pokemon right here, which I will be capturing off screen. Uh, let's see. The Axus are pretty big right here, so what I'm going to do right now 
I can't even get off my, my screen right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick two Pokemon that we can use to, for battle. So you know what? Let's go ahead and use Optimus. I kind of want to... I don't want to use it, its new move. I want to see what it does. But first, let's go ahead and heal him. Can't do anything without healing. So let's go ahead and swap him out. And uh, you know what? Dumbledore might be needed on this one. So let's go ahead and heal this Pokemon. Actually, hold on. Damn it. I'm pressing every single button right here. I just don't know what <laughs> what to do. So let's go ahead and use a... Rest let's Put it, press the restore right here, and bam, Dumbledore has been healed. Okay, so let's see what our good old buddies can do right here. Now, I might have healed them for no reason, but yes. Here it is. Battling is important to better understand Pokemon. Time for a checkup. Oh, jeez. Okay, so here it is. You are challenged by the medical team e I Iwin and Evelyn. Okay, so let's get this. Bring it. So they're coming out with a Toga Chick and a uh, what was it called again? I can't remember the name of the Pokemon. Yeah, uh, Pony Ponyard. Man, I keep on forgetting a lot of stuff right here. It's okay, guys. I know, I know. So let's see. We're not effective on any aspect right here. So good gravy. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to switch out our Pokemon. We made a complete. Uh, yeah, yeah. We farted on this one right here. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon and. You know what? I think Quackwork could go, but no, that is not good. So let's go with Drago. We're going to be switching out. Okay, so so much for using our new move, right, guys? I think so. So here it is, Krakatoa looking like a beast himself. And Dumbledore is coming back. And, well, here we are. Drago looking like a beast himself. And, oh, all righty. So, yeah, we're getting hit just like that. Drago, yeah, I completely forgot. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so let's go with the Flame Charge to Ponyard, and let's see. Yeah. <laughs> this is why Drago doesn't like me. Okay, so. <laughs> um, oh, Lord. Okay, let's go with Quackor. Let's go with Quackor. I, I, yeah, I keep on shooting myself in the foot, guys. It's like, again... It has been maybe two weeks since I've actually played Pokemon Sword and Shield, mainly because I didn't want to, uh, you know, I didn't want to progress anything like Evolve Pokemon that I've had on my team or win gym battles or anything like that because, you know, it is what it is like that. Um, that and I've been very, very busy at work and all that crud too, so yeah, you guys already know, Draven's keeping it busy, Blitzkrieg is uh, growing levels like crazy, and here comes Fairy Wind. Oh, man. Blitzkrieg, you better be... You better... Oh, my God. Okay, so let's go ahead and take out Blitzkrieg just for the extra experience points. We need this Pokemon to level up quickly. Oh, man. I think I shot myself in the foot just for that. But here we go. We're going to go... Oh, crud. Let's go with Acid Attack right here. Now, it could have hit both Pokemon right here. But here comes Laneth the Smack It Down on Togetic's Candy. You know what? And here comes an Ancient Power. Where is it going to hit? It is going to hit Krakatoa. Thank you, Jeebus. Okay. So here comes Acid Attack. Look at that. And that nearly defeats Togetic. Holy crud. Okay. Let's go. Flame Charge for the win. And you know what? Let's go with the Growl Attack. I really don't care. So here we go. Flame Charge for the win. There goes Togetic. And everybody gets some experience points right here. Except for the ones who fainted. And Blitzkrieg grows to level 20. Yes, sir. We are on top of the world again. <laughs> yeah, I kind of uh, I kind of messed it up just a little bit with the whole switching out Pokemon. But that's, the, well, you know, like I said, you can actually heal Pokemon right here. You can actually, um, you know, train them up off screen. Uh, not only that, but Pokemon jobs. They are a lifesaver when it comes to this whole uh, game right here. Because... There is that temptation of capturing all them Pokemon out there, but, you know, what? no means of training them and all that stuff. But then this Pokemon jobs thing came up, made it a lot better. So much more that, you know, what? like, you can actually train your Pokemon up to be level 100 at, at the very end. It's just, you don't evolve them or anything, or if you, if you, if you manage to do that and don't evolve them, then that's on you right there, guys. So now we're just going to be moving up right here, and, uh, yeah, oh god. <laughs> We're getting attacked by all, all corners, and 
Look at that, Torkoal. I think we've already caught this guy right here. Okay, so... Let's run away. Man. Holy crud, we are... We are kind of messing up just a little. So here we go. I came from a far away, or from far away to watch the gym challenge. I'd love the opportunity to battle a gym challenger. Okay, alrighty. So here it is. We're gonna be battling another gym uh, or a backpacker. Her name is Diane, and she will be coming out with her sock, sock and uh, sock and throw, sock and throw. Yes. Alrighty, Super Saiyan three Optimus Prime right here. Let's go with the drum beating. Let's see what this does. Here we go, drum beating. And bam! Okay, alrighty, look at that. And yes, Sock does have sturdy, I didn't know that. And that lowered its speed, so that actually benefits us just a little bit. But here he comes, sweeping the leg. <laughs> We're on even playing field right here just because of that. So let's go with the Razor Leaf for the win. Yeah, Super Saiyan 3, Optimus Prime taking the victory right here. Okay, and of course our Pokemon growing levels every single time. Don't worry guys, I will be leveling up these Pokemon. Evolving them and all that stuff too. And, well, let's see. I think we go, I think we've already been right here. Yeah, we were already here. Now, this could get a little confusing just because there's items around and all that stuff, but you'll get around guys. You will get around and would you look at that, we have two people of interest. One right there, but first is first. Let's grab this. Look at that. We got ourselves a TM-15 dig. A very powerful ground-type move. Of course, burrows under the ground. Next turn, you hit him. And look at that. Three Doug Trios right there. Or Diglets, or is it a Doug Trio? I don't even know. I really don't know. Okay, so let's go ahead and not talk to this individual, but let's talk to this individual right here. Now, this person is a person of interest. You talk to this one and she's like, my name is Kara Liss. I am researching fossils, huh? Hmm. You've got some kind, uh, you've got some fossils there, huh? Will you show them to me? Yes. Which fossils do you think uh, stands up to the high standards of Kara Liss? I guess the fossilized bird. Which of your fossils uh, do you think will pique the curiosity of Kara Liss? The fossilized dino? So I should restore the fossilized bird? and the fossilized dino together, huh? Sure. And let's unravel the mysteries of these fossils. Stick them together, and here we go. And the objective is complete. It seems the restoration was a great success. Yes, I can see in his eyes. This is Pokemon that walked the face of Galar in ancient times. Please take care of this Pokemon. We got ourselves Arctozolt. Holy crud. Oh, wow. This is the first one right here. Guys, I think I might... <laughs> Look at this Pokemon right here. Octozolt. Or Arctozolt. Wow. An electric and ice type Pokemon right here. So, fossilized Pokemon. 7 foot 7. This is a big Pokemon right here. The shaking of its, of, uh, of its freezing upper half is what generates its electricity. It has a hard time walking around. Now, in the Gala region, guys... You have to have two different kinds of uh, two different kinds of pieces or fossil pieces to actually make different kinds of uh, fossil Pokemon. We got ourselves Arctozolt. Now, Arctozolt can be revived if you do have the fossilized Dino and the fossilized Bird. There are three other uh, fossil Pokemon that you can actually get right here into the uh, in the Gala region. One being Dracozolt, which is another electric, uh, electric type Pokemon, but does have a dragging type capability. This Pokemon right here can be revived by, you know, using a fossilized Drake and a fossilized bird. The other Pokemon that you can actually get right here is Dracovich. Dracovich? I can't even remember. The, yeah, Dracovich. It can be revived from the fossilized Drake and the, uh, the fossilized fish. And Artovich. This is a water and ice type Pokemon. It can be revived from the fossilized Dino and the fossilized fish. Now, where can you get these fossils right now? There are a few ways you can actually find fossils. They can be found by checking out sparkles in the wild area in Route 6, but they may be hard to come by this way. The easiest way to get them is the digging, tr the digging duo in some excavation. Both of them have a chance of digging up fossils, but the skilled brother can, uh, can find rare ones. So, yeah, the, the, this, this right here is going, to be, uh, it's going to be a challenge. I think I almost did that one time in uh, my last 
in, in my last uh, playthrough right here with uh, with shield didn't necessarily work but you know eventually you know you know eventually I'm gonna try and get all three of these Pokemon right here again you have to go to the uh, you have to go to uh, the wild area near route 6 and route 6 right here in this area again it varies but the digging tree, the digging duo is the best bet to actually find these Pokemon fossils right here. So I'm not going to give it a nickname yet. But I do want to check out its summary right here. So here you go. The, uh, or Arcto, Arctozolt. I can't even pronounce this Pokemon name right now. Arctozolt. Electric and ice type Pokemon right here. It does have Volt Absorb. It restores HP if hit with an electric type move instead of taking damage. And well, as you can see, its stats are pretty good. They're pretty even now right here. Its speed is not the best right now. And as you can see, it does have Powder Snow, Thunder Shock, and Charge. And, well, level 10. So, we're going to send this guy straight to the box. I might be using this Pokemon. It has caught my interest. It kind of caught my, my interest just a little bit right here. So, let's go ahead and move on right here. Now, again, you can find the, you can find the fossils right here. Digging Duo and all that stuff. And you can come back and you know revive them right here there are different kind of combinations so, so don't try and like you know do the same thing over and over again right there guys so let's go ahead and continue on our battles right here we got people wanting to battle us and we found ourselves two fossilized dinos holy bejeebus so let's see that right there is for Arctozolt and Arctovich so we're gonna keep one of those guys right there just in case again they are they are very hard to come by you can find them right here in the area, so just make sure to keep your eyes peeled for any of these uh, these uh, these items that you may find right now. So now, let's go ahead and move on and see if we can actually find more characters right here to, to battle and all that stuff. And yeah, we're going to be finding uh, this guy right here, Heliotile. You know, a Pokemon that we actually saw in Pokemon X and Y and all that crud. Very good Pokemon. Can't evolve it through, through a Sunstone, but still it's an Electric-type Pokemon. Kind of a weird thing right there. So let's go ahead and grab this. We found ourselves a light clay, which can actually help uh, pr uh, protective moves like light screen and reflect. It will last just a little bit longer and all that stuff. And wow, scary. Maractus, do not want to battle you right now. And look at that, a Galarian. What was this Pokemon called again? A Galarian. Uh, better move out of the way before it tries to catch me. Uh jeez. It's still looking at me. It's something Galarian. Uh, you know what? Screw it. Let's go ahead and battle it. <laughs> so I can remember the name. So here it is. A Galarian Yamask. Yeah, look at this guy. Galarian Yamask. It, obviously, the best way to evolve it. I do, not, I do not know, but it does have a Galarian form once it evolves. I will try and do that. I will try and do that, but of course, Dust Ball right here. Going with its typing, and yes, we caught Galarian Yamask. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty, so let's get levels. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and talk, or just read this whole thing right here. So, here we have Yamas, the spirit Pokemon. It's Galarian form. A clay slab was uh, with a curse engravings took possession of Yamas. The slab is said to be absorbing Yamas dark power. Huh. Well, you don't say. Alrighty, so that is that right there. And, well, let's move on to the next person right here. Maybe we could find fossils. We were already over there. And, well, let's see. Oh, wow. I don't know what the hell that was. Okay, so let's just get the heck out of here because these Pokemon are scaring me. Kind of scaring me or something like that. Alrighty, so let's see. Where are we? We're going to be going right here. I think we should have gone right here. And, no, that is where we found ourselves another Galarian yeah, mask. Never mind. Okay, so let's uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where in the heck do we need to move on right here? We need to go right there. We need to get there, but we need to go right here somewhere. Got ourselves a fossil Pokemon. Maybe if we go right here. Nope. Well, I just pressed the button. Different button right there. Never mind. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna have to go the other way around. Jesus. Okay. It's kind of it's kind of awesome that in this in generation 8 most of my episodes will be like at least 30 to 30 minutes to an hour and all that stuff but man there are there is a lot to cover around this this whole region and yeah look at that 
Yeah, Master trying to capture me. I'm not trying to capture it because I already caught its friend. So, let's see. Uh, okay, so we should probably go up there somewhere. Away from these guys. Yeah, don't need to catch these guys right now. And here we are. Going into the little special pond right there. You will be finding some pretty cool items. There's an item right there that you can actually find. A bubble spot where you can actually catch yourself a uh, water type Pokemon. And let's see what we can actually find right here. So here we have a regular Magikarp. <laughs> Never mind. You know what would be nice? A shiny Magikarp. That way I can actually have Hydra number two. That would be nice. But no, life doesn't always work that way. Has to has to be an a hole. Yeah. Anywho, let's get the heck around here. Uh, yeah, we're looking at these Pokemon right here. They're looking at us like snacks. I'm gonna attack this guy because remember, if a Pokemon is glowing like a Super Saiyan, it has watts, and you definitely need all those watts to actually buy some TRs. And if you guys don't remember, TRs are basically you can actually use ones and all that stuff. If that made any sense? I do not know. And look at that. Yamask has been defeated. Since it is a ground type Pokemon and we all grow level again. Okay. Alrighty. And we get ourselves 252 watts out of that. So, let's see. Where in the heck is Carmen San Diego? We're going to go right here. In the heck is Carmen San Diego? We're going to go right here. Okay, jump right here. And that will evade those guys. Can't go right here. Yeah, I'm trying to rest uh, retrace my steps right here, guys, because... Yeah, okay, so we're probably going to have to go up there, away from those guys. And... Yes, we will be finding a Pokemon trainer right there. Thank you! Okay, so we're on the... I think we're, like, at the very end right here. So let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Let's go with Drago. We need to have a winning streak with this Pokemon, I swear to God. And there's an item right there. That is two rare bones. That is cool. And let's go ahead and battle her. A model who's also strong in battle. That's who I am. Hmm, a model. Okay, you don't say. You don't say. So here we go. Model Nicola wanting to battle right here. And she's going to come out with a Skaropi. Or Skaropi. Scary. Scary. Okay, so let's go with a little bit of harsh sunlight. Let's go ahead and use Bulldoze. Hopefully that actually wins us the match right here. Here we go, Bulldoze. And that doesn't take much damage, but look at that. Speed has been lowered. Okay. And, you know, the Shell Bell is not actually doing... Yeah, it's not actually healing my Pokemon like it should be. Kind of pisses me off a little. All right, so let's go with the Dragon Claw. Let's see if this actually finishes this guy off. And that takes more, so that's good. That is very, very good. And here comes more home claws. So of course they're going to be using some stat boosters to get me all messed up. So let's go ahead and use another dragon claw right here. Come on, let's get it, dragon claw. Damn it! Nearly beats this guy. Okay, and of course home claws. Okay, so it's going for one big hit, and thankfully we are faster than this Pokemon right here. So let's go right ahead and. <laughs> Let's go right ahead and just do that because yeah, we can't <laughs> we can't have we can't be having that stuff right there. So there it is. We defeated our little model. Blitzkrieg is growing levels. Thank you. Thank you. And well, coming out with a Ponyard. Let's go ahead and switch out to Quackor the Foul right here. And let's just take care of business. More business. Lots of business right here. Alrighty. Okay. So here is Ponyard. Looking all mean and everything, but guess what? I got myself a rock smash. And here comes a metal claw. Wow. It takes, it takes a lot of damage right there. So here we go. Nice four plus uh, four plus damage right here. So let's go ahead and do it one more time. Hopefully we don't faint. Here comes an assurance. Not super effective, but yes, we are on the red right here. So here we go. One more rock smash for the win. Say goodbye to Ponyard. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And, uh, well, there we go. Model Nicola. I'm sorry, honey. You look fine and all that stuff, but we just defeated you. Alrighty. So, that is that right there. And, well, we got one more area to search. 
I did see some, uh, Ida, or I did see a sparkly thing right there, so hopefully that's another fossil that could be something else or something like that. I don't even know. Alrighty, so let's see. We're in this area, and uh, is there any sparkly areas right here? Nope. I'm just running into rocks, like always, and, well, look at that. We found a tree. Obviously, we're going to just shake it because we need more berries for, you know, feeding our Pokemon and all that stuff. Let's try it again. There we go. That's two. The limit is three. Hopefully, a Pokemon doesn't go down. Yes, sir. That's four. Well, that's three. There we go. We're getting we're getting berries. Lots of berries. So many berries. Delicious berries. And before we battle a Pokemon trainer, yeah, let's go ahead and heal our Quackor right here because we do not want to get our butts kicked. Alrighty, so that's that. Let's go right ahead. Let's uh, let's show this person uh, what it's all about. We do the hokey pokey, and are you making curry? Are you filling your curry decks? The heck, a curry decks? Hell, I don't even know what a curry decks is. Never mind. Okay, so let's see. We're gonna be battling uh, homegirl right here, and well, of course, she does have herself a pretty strong throw right here. Let's go with a Dragon Claw. Holy crap, Drago. Get him. And that right there doesn't really take a lot, but... Yeah, oh crap, here comes a Storm Throw. That just sounds vicious right there. So it's a critical hit. And yeah, we're going to be switching out our Pokemon. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with Dumbledore. Hopefully this guy actually does something right here. Alrighty. Switching up to Dumbledore. I really do love its Pokeball right here, and here comes another Storm Throw. Holy crud. Yeah, we need to heal our Pokemon, and we need to train our Pokemon just a little bit more right here. So, let's go with the Psybeam, and oh crud. Storm Throw. Jeez, not so effective, but Dumbledore has been defeated. I am not happy about this right now, so let's go ahead and... And switch out our Pokemon. Let's go to Super Saiyan 3 Optimus Prime right here. Let's go. Optimus Prime looking good. And, well, let's go with the drum beating because, of course, it, it, it's specialized attack, I guess. Look at that. Bam, 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 bam. And nearly takes out throw, but look at that. No more speed right there, so... Damn, okay, so that right there is just, uh, that right there is actually making, uh, making me, uh, worried right there. But look at this, another drum, another drum beating or whatever it's called. And there goes our good old buddy, Throw. Okay, alrighty, so Pokemon leveling up, and it's learning to tech. So let's go ahead and switch out our, the Leer attack for just detect. Again, guys, uh, off screen, I am going to be training these Pokemon. Like nobody's business, because... Yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. So we defeated our, our next opponent right here. And I think we can go right here, probably. Yes, we can. And there are some stairs. Let's go to the stairs first and get that shiny item. And yes, we have found a rare candy. And what is this? Trainer tips. You can use technical machine or TM as many times as you'd like on a Pokemon. Teach your Pokemon moves of various types to give them an advantage against all kinds of different opponents in battle. TRs or t technical technical records or TRs can only be used one time before they break. However, however, time uh, before they break or wait, 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 hold on. However, be more thoughtful when choosing to use them. Now, that is true. Kind of sucks because, like, you know, we're getting used to the whole, you know, TMs getting to use them as many times as possible. But now, like, there's a limit. They've Took, they, they took that away from us. And, well, Pokemon are trying to attack us. We get ourselves the TM30, which is Steel Wing. I wonder. Okay, I kind of wonder if... Uh, let's see. Okay, so it's still a Fighting-type Pokemon. I wonder. Steel Wing. Yes, Quacker can actually learn Steel, uh, Steel Wing. Okay. Alrighty, so it could learn some Flying-type attacks. Some, somewhat of, of that, since it does have wings. Technically, they are wings, not chicken bones or anything like that. And, uh, well, of course, we're getting attacked by another Pokemon right here. And, oh, crud. Okay, so, Drago. I don't think you can beat this guy. So let's go ahead and uh, run away because we do not want to battle right now. 
Alrighty, so let's move on right here. And I think we are at the very end of this whole adventure, so let's get the let's get up there. Let's get up there right here. Alrighty, so here is the very end, and there is a Pokemon trainer waiting for us. So let's see. What who do I have at the first? Of course Drago has to be first. Let's go ahead and let's see. Yeah, kind of. I kind of want to use Optimus Prime right now. So let's go ahead and revive our Pokemon here too, because uh, yeah, don't need to have any fate in Pokemon. And yes, we need to train these Pokemon just a little bit more. And let's see, level twenty-eight. I wonder. Hold on, hold on, just a sec, guys. I wonder. I have thirteen rare candies right here. What if I gave two rare candies to Dumbledore right here? So there we go, level 30, and it wants to learn Dazzling Gleam. Okay, so this is a much more powerful move, and it's disarming voice, will not miss, but yeah, less strong. So here we are, teaching Dumbledore a new move, and it doesn't evolve. Okay, so I, I kind of thought that it would have evolved right there and then, so let's see. Yeah, not going to use anything else right here. Let's go right ahead and hold on just a sec. <laughs> Hold on just a sec. Okay, so since Dumbledore is alive and it's at level 30 now, let's go ahead and actually heal it up just a little bit more. Let's see. Where in the heck? Okay, here we go. Super Potion. There we go. And let us battle this person. Oh, he looks crazy. Pokemon is art, too, if we both give it our all. He looks crazy. He, that's what he looks like. Very obsessed. Look at this guy. Artist Duncan. This guy looks obsessed. Scary! Holy crud! Okay, so here we are going up against uh, a... <laughs> oh, crud. A Poison-type Pokemon. Okay, so we are a Psychic-type Pokemon still. So let's go with the Psybeam. Let's get this. Psybeam attack. We got an advantage. And say goodbye to coughing. Alrighty. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And, well... We are leveling up Blitzkrieg, and let's see, Pseudo Wudo is coming out. It is a pretty good Pokemon right there. We do not have a Water type Pokemon any anymore, so we might have to change that eventually. So here we go, Quackor the Foul, ready to take some, uh, or well, ready to take out a Rock type Pokemon right here. Now let's see, let's go with the Rock Smash. Hopefully, this does it right here. And no, Pseudo Wudo is a little strong right now, so here comes a slam, but it misses. All right, let's go. Rock Smash yet again. Let's get it. Rock Smash, taking care of business. Lowers its defense, I think. Yes, it does. And here comes that slam that we've been dreading. And uh, wow, Quackor. <laughs> oh, man. He's going to have to fight for every inch right here, so here we go. Rock Smash does its thing. Say goodbye to that petrified uh, tree. And uh, look at that. Drago grows to level 34, which is great. And <laughs> your moves are, are beautiful. Oh my, I'm completely fascinated by them. Well, he looks a little more normal, but <laughs> less obsessed. And uh, well, we defeated this guy right here. And look at that. Say hello to Stow Inside right here. Look at this. That's pretty awesome right there. That is very, very awesome. So here we are, guys, in Stow Inside. Not even city, not even town. And would you look at that? It's a nice town. A lot of trading. There's a gym right there. And this is where the Sword and Shield part come in, guys. Because I believe it's in this gym right or in this area right here where we're actually going to be seeing two, two kinds of Pokemon battles. I could be wrong. Hold on. Yes, two different kinds of Pokemon battles. So in Stow Inside, you're actually going to have a, one of two Pokemon tra Pokemon trainers. A Fighting-type Gym Leader or a Ghost-type Gym Leader. I believe in Sword, you're going to have the Fighting-type Gym Leader. In Shield, you're going to be having the Ghost-type Gym Leader. We won't be doing anything, uh, any gym battles in the next episode. We're just going to be taking a tour of this whole place. But I'm going to tell you this right now, guys. There will be two new episodes, or there will be two episodes, okay? Two episodes, two different kinds of gym battles. We're going to be in Pokemon Shield, or in Sword, we're going to be taking on B, the fighting type gym leader. And in Pokemon Shield, we will be taking on Alistair, the ghost type gym leader. That way you guys can have an idea of uh, what gym leaders to expect in Pokemon Shield. Trust me, guys, it's going to be fun. This is the reason why I decided to come out with 
basically two or to basically do both uh, both walkthroughs in uh, in the same kind of thing because kind of want to be informational and all that stuff. So let's go in and uh, just relax right here because uh, yeah, that's exactly what we need to do right here. So again, guys, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Uh, we will be taking a small tour of Stow Inside, and then after that following episode we will be taking on two different kinds of gym leaders so thank you guys again i'll see you guys next time